Right, so you'll be familiar with simple interest. You've done that before. And you should remember the simple interest formula, which is something like I equals PRT, uh, where P is the starting amount, R is the uh, interest rate uh, as a percentage, so in this case 5%, and T is the time, the time in years. And that gives us the um, total amount of interest. Um, but sometimes you want to know the total amount or what is the value of an investment at the end of five years. So in the past, you would have added an extra formula. Uh, the total amount, which we can call A, is equal to the principal uh, plus the interest. So it was a two-step process. You'd say I equals PRT and you'd calculate that. And then you would do A equals P plus I and that would allow you to find the A. Of course, you could use this formula, sort of, if you wrote A equals P plus PRT, because I is equal to PRT. And so that's a nice little simple interest formula. But I'm here to tell you that simple interest is actually just an arithmetic sequence, if you think about it. Um, the reason for that is you have a starting amount, which is our A value. And then you have um, a number that you add to it the same number every year. Now, it might be it being expressed as a percentage, but once you calculate the percentage once, it then just becomes your common difference. So um, let's work out our common difference here. So the common difference is going to be equal to 1200 times 0 0.05. That's our simple interest. That's going to be $60. All right, so that means that you invest $1,200 for five years, you're earning 5% per annum, which is $60 every year. And we want to know what is the value of her investment at the end of the five years. So thinking about this, it's an arithmetic sequence, so we want to know what is term. And you've got to wonder, what term am I looking for? Am I looking for the fifth term? Because that might be useful. But if we drew a little timeline, I put $1,200 in the bank, and then here's the end of year one. So that's year one there, year two. So the end of year one is term two, and the end of term two is term three, and the end of term three is term four, which means the end of term of year five is term six. So it's one of those questions where you've got to go to the next term than the one you might think. Uh, and that's going to be equal to A plus 5D because, again, that's uh, one less than our term. So the A value the, is our first value, which is 12, and then 5 plus our common difference, which is 60, and that's going to be 1,200 plus uh, 300, which is $1,500. Okay, so uh, there's simple interest using arithmetic sequences. Now, you might want to think a little bit about how that formula is sort of the same as, as this formula here. Um, I equals PRT is principal times uh, the interest rate. And if you look here, that's the principal times uh, the interest rate right there. And then the, once I've got the common difference, I multiply it by five, which is uh, the time. So I actually do PRT just in, in two different stages, P times R and then T here. And then I add it to A, and A is actually, well, this A is actually P, not that A. Okay, so um, that's simple interest using arithmetic sequences.